you can figure out something about the way cancer works, then you can try and figure out a way to prevent it. Just this past year, my brother passed away, and it was with colorectal cancer. I think it just gives you a lot of hope that there's so many people working on so many things that in our children's generation and our grandchildren's generation, um, I think will be very helpful. So I think that was the other thing that really motivated me is uh, knowing that there is a need and there is a purpose, um, you know, for me. My name is Sharmila Bhattacharya. I'm a life scientist. I work for NASA and I love it. I actually was born in Nigeria, in Africa, uh, but I didn't stay there long. My father was there on work. But then uh, I grew up in India, so I actually did most of my elementary, middle school, um, high school uh, in India. In middle school, there was this teacher who was absolutely incredible. She was one of these people who was very enthusiastic herself and really inspired us um, into thinking about the exciting world of science. I did my undergraduate at Wellesley College um, in Massachusetts um, in biological chemistry. Then I went for my uh, master's and PhD program. I was at Princeton University. Um, I then went to Stanford University and did uh, my postdoctoral research there. Um, and then actually right after that, I um, joined NASA Ames as a scientist. I was working now with engineers and physicists and life scientists and uh, managers uh, and I actually found that very exciting but I knew that I you know it would take me a little time to just you know learn a whole lot of new things which you know as a scientist is what you really do on a daily basis anyway. So the thing that I think I'd have to say is the highlight of my uh, work here at NASA is when um, you know we were able to do an experiment on the space shuttle um, and it was a successful experiment. What we were doing is we were looking at the effect of space flight on the immune system. It's one of those things where you don't get a second chance so when you're doing that experiment it has to be perfect and it has to work that first time. The astronaut who did some of the manipulation of the experiment in space did a perfect job. Uh, and then when we got it back down, you know, everything just was picture perfect. Um, so yeah, it was many sleepless nights, but it was a lot of fun and uh, it was just a great feeling. You have to follow your interests. So you have to really do the kind of work uh, that you're excited by because there are going to be good days and bad days and there are times when you know nothing is going exactly the way you think it's supposed to go um, but it's all right because at the end of the day overall the big picture is that you really are motivated by the work that you do or there's something there that you know makes you get up and be excited to get out of bed then you're going to do well no matter what because it won't seem like you're working hard because it's something you enjoy doing. I find a lot of fulfillment or satisfaction uh, when I feel that I can look into a question that we don't know a lot about and however small you know the the advancement may be uh, but to shed a little bit more light on an issue that sort of thing really does excite me and does motivate me a lot. I know that at the end of the day, there's a reason that I'm doing uh, what I'm doing. <laughs>